everybody, this will be my first video doing my makeup. I already got one eyebrow done, I gotta do the other one, and then I'm gonna do a full face. So I use LA Pro Concealer to go over it. I also put it on my whole lid, and you'll see why once I get to my eyeshadow. Here. But don't talk about my little mirror. I always do my makeup with this mirror. I don't know why. <laughs> I don't. So. And this is just to make it like look like it's freshly arched or wet. I go over the top, but I always make sure I cover that up with my foundation. I hate the halo effect of eyebrows. I don't like it. I can't believe it's 2018 and females are still rocking that look. I also take it down the middle just to help fade the eyebrows. And go over it again with the spoolie. Just to fade it. I guess these will be called the Instagram brows all day. And this is what I wear. Go over it with this. Kind of blend it out. Into the skin. Some more. Just a little bit. On the lid. Take this and blend it in. And this for me serves as a primer. I got this big fan on, so I don't know if y'all can hear me. I might be talking a little too loud. I might not be talking loud enough, but I hope that y'all can hear me. Then I take my Sasha Buttercup and I just dab a little bit on here tap the excess and I go over it like that and this just helps set it for any creasing for so when I do my eyeshadow I don't want creasing see what I'm doing just going over it Okay, like so. Eyebrows are done. Yes, I like my eyebrows thick. I wouldn't hear nobody talking no shit. I wouldn't hear nobody talking no shit. I kind of wish I could pick this up higher. Hold on. Because I'm kind of low. The pigment is real. You don't have to buy those expensive ass palettes from who, what, where. This typically I use as my crease brush. It's from Wet Wild. To be honest, I don't even know the name of it. I don't know the number. I just know this is what I use. So I normally I'm gonna go in with kind of like a sandy brown. Cause I really don't even know what look I'm going for right now, but. 
tap off the excess and I'm going to just go in my crease and you want to hold your brush back here so you'll have less I mean I guess I don't know really why but it's like not as harsh when you do it from back here So I got this sandy brown, taking it, windshield chill wiper motion. This is my first video, y'all. Don't judge me. Okay, and then I'm gonna take it's like a like kind of a maroon color tap. Tap, and I'm gonna kind of go on my outer corner. And I'm, I'm gonna also windshield wiper it. <laughs> it doesn't make sense. Make sure I kind of bring it up a little bit. Okay. Let me show y'all what we're doing. I'm gonna clean it up. Go back in with that sandy brown for the other eye. first brush I use for my crease this is the second brush I use this to pack the lid color on so I guess I'll give y'all a vibrant color that y'all can see I'll use this gold right here it's like a little yellow gold color okay put that on there and pack it on see Forgive my light and it is what it is. Like I said, it's my first video. Now, I know y'all might be thinking, oh, that looks kind of harsh, but wait, there's more. Although I've already did like my transition color, y'all gonna see what I do. Now move on. Just kind of blend it in. I feel like I need a little more. For the new people, you always want to do your eyeshadow first. I had to learn this the hard way when I first started. I was always like doing my foundation and shit first. You know, man. Don't do it. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take that maroon and that sandy brown again on that crease brush that I use, and I'm going to just kind of blend the two colors together again just so it won't be such a harsh line so this is not a cut crease that's a whole nother video for a whole nother time again i'm taking that maroon and that sandy brown pet pack and i'm just 
blend it together. And you'll see the difference if you can see the harsh line from before. See, it's kind of fused together, if that makes sense. So, I got a few, like I got a little dust right here. I'm going to wipe that off. And I'm also sharp that line right there. Because mm -hmm. sometimes I use tape for that, just so it can already be done. But sometimes I just wipe it on off. Okay? So really, eyes are done. Outside of like mascara and... Oh yeah, let me do my... I'll do my wing liner last. Really. I'll do that last. So I use Maybelline Fit Me. I'm in 355 Coconut. This is my go-to foundation outside of MAC. And I believe, oh shit, I ain't bought MAC so long with my broke ass. I don't even remember the color that I was in, honey. I think it was in C50 in the winter and like an NW, maybe 45 in the summer. It depends. So, now this brush, it used to have a long thing on. Look, it ain't broke. That's how long I have it. Ooh. Uh uh, technical difficulty. Listen. Flat top kabuki brush. Take this. And really, I just like kind of put it on there. Not too much. I'll show y'all exactly how much. Oh, and I'm forgetting a step. Not too much. But I'm forgetting something because I normally do my eyeshadow. Yeah, my eyeshadow. I use that thing. That's why I buy, I buy this color a lot in LA Pro Girl. Let me tell you. Because I use this like for everything. So I'm going to go over this. Under my eye. And you know, I'm a single mother of two. So the bags are real. Okay. Put this under here. Still all that. I also go here, here, and here. But my little, my little shadow don't bother me, so I don't really mess with it too much. Since I already got my foundation on that brush, I'm gonna go ahead and use this brush. This is normally what I put my powder on. But since I already got foundation on my Kabuki brush, I'm just gonna go ahead and put this right here. It look crazy, but the masterpiece is going to be real. I get stopped so much. Like, who does your makeup? You should do makeup and you should do videos and all this and that. I'm like, really? Who knew? So, we we'll just go ahead and... See, that didn't make too much of a difference. I just put it there really for my own peace of mind so I can know that I did it. I don't know if that makes sense. <laughs> Go use the bathroom. Like I told y'all, I'm a single mother with kids, so okay. My video is not gonna be polished at first. No, eventually I might get to makeup guru status, but for now, y'all gonna see the real, raw, and unfiltered my life. <laughs> like I said, my unfiltered life. That's the name of my YouTube channel. I'm just starting it. I probably have about 12 subscribers. So if you like me and you're feeling my vibe, go ahead and subscribe. It is what it is if you don't. There's plenty of other people to watch them do their makeup. But on my channel, I won't just be doing makeup. I just won't be doing hair. It'll be me. I have an autistic son. I have a one-year-old daughter. Uh, it'll just be me living my daily life, the craziness. It's not going to be polished like I said. It's just going to be real, raw, and unfiltered. That's why that's my name. My unfiltered life. Okay? It get real around here. So, I'm just going to... I always put under my eye first. Then I go up under... You know, just everywhere. If that makes sense. I, always, I really see... Uh, I just kind of messed it up, but I can fix that. And this is why, for a long time, I did my eyebrows and everything last. You always want to hit that neck. 
Especially if you're a big girl. Because nine times out of ten, if you're a big girl, your neck is kind of darker than everything else. I don't know what that is about. But you always want to hit that neck. You want to make sure you hit that neck, honey. Because you don't want to be a... Uh, and I also get my ear. Now, I see a lot of people don't get their ear. For me, that's weird. Even if I'm not showing my ear, I get my ear. I don't know why. Now, I remember I told y'all how I messed that up? My little eyebrow right there? And it's not really nothing. I'm just going to take this pencil. Fill that right back in. Bam. Bam. And yeah, that's it. Okay. Nah. Some of these makeup gurus be making life so much more difficult than it gotta be. I just slap that right on there. I don't know if I'm a lazy makeup artist or what, but shit don't be that difficult. Let me give y'all a close up what it's looking like so far. Now, to contour, I use this. A lot of people use a liquid and then go over it with the powder, but I don't. I don't know why either. I just don't. See, look, I told y'all, y'all gonna get the real deal watching my video. Cause, um, yeah, I feel like that's better. Close that door. But, um, yeah, so, I don't like to go over my, um, contour with a liquid first. I don't know why. I just don't. Here it is. This one I used to contour. I bought this off Amazon. Basically, all my brushes I bought off Amazon except for the e.l.f. brushes. I bought those from like a CVS or like a Walmart. You know. So, I'm going to take this. I got the Black Radiance True Complexion Contour Palette. <coughs> now, this also has something to sculpt and highlight. But I don't use this highlighter out of here because I don't like it. For me, it is just not popping enough. I'm sorry. It is. I also tap the excess and blow. And then I just kind of go in a circular motion to not make the line so harsh, you see. Mm-hmm. Mm. Face coming together. Mind you, I'm working with this little mirror. I love this little mirror. I go on my forehead. Mm-hmm. Just kind of round it out. Now, I see a lot of people that do, you know, they go over, they, um, they go under their contour. And sometimes I do this, sometimes I don't, but I guess I do it. Even though I really don't. They kind of like make it pop with that, with the Sasha Buttercup. I do it sometimes, but I really don't make a habit of doing it. Just because I don't feel like it's that deep. I feel like a lot of stuff be like kind of unnecessary when you're doing makeup. I think people just kind of follow trends. But I have picked up a lot of stuff off of YouTube. But if I feel like it's unnecessary, then I won't do it. Like to me, that's unnecessary. Because I feel like it's going to pop. And really, I don't like to bring a lot of attention to my contour. I'm going to go here. And I'm a bank. I really don't bank, but I guess that's what they call it. I just kind of sit this right here and rub it in. 
some girls leave it on. I leave mine on, so I guess you, that could be considered bacon. I ain't got time to be uh doing all that. Like I said, I'm a single mother too. And I also go over my contour with it. I don't get more product though. I use what's already on the brush. And I go over my kind of like overall really. See? I'll give y'all a close up. I'm working off a phone here. So you know. That's what we got so far. I do not contour my nose. I'm sorry. I love my big bell pepper ass nose. Even though it's not that big, I do not contour my nose at all. It's never that deep for me. It's just not, I don't know why, but it's just not that deep for me. And I'm only doing this because my girl is sweet. My son is outside playing with his cousins and I got bored. I said, you know what? I'm tired of sitting back watching everybody else on YouTube when I'm bored. When I could be making YouTube videos myself and potentially making some extra income. You feel me? So, what else? Um, oh. This same... <laughs> Look, y'all gonna be laughing at me. I'm so serious. This same brown that I went over my eyebrows with. Line my lips with. I do not be playing. And I got small lips, honey. I get them from my mama. She get them from her mama. And my daughter got them. My son got his dad lips, so he got lucky, but. Okay, I blend them out. I'm gonna put one more coat. Majority of these products I got right from the beauty supply. Like, I'm gonna take a second to show y'all. This is True Matte. You can't even see it no more, honey. But it's True Matte. I don't know who made it. Look. And it's called Jazz Berry Jam. Mm -hmm. Yes. Like I said, Maybelline fit me. Nika K Perfect 40 Classic is what I use on my eyes. Um, I did Prime, Elf, LA Pro, Concealer, Black Radiance. I'm like the queen of drugstore shit, okay? I am not playing. Like, even I believe this brush, this is my, I love this brush. I believe it's Nika K as well. And, um, because now that I'm in the light, I can see a few things on this good eyeshadow that I ain't really... This video about to be so real. Look, I can't edit. I don't even know how. Matter of fact, let me turn this way. This is better like Um, this is, ooh, who is it? Look, look what it's saying. Hollywood Beauty. <laughs> $4.30. But um, this highlighter, I was really looking for my other highlighter, which I'm sure is by Nikki K. And it's more of a goldish color, but I could not find it. I could not find it to save my life. So, we're going to use this here. This is, it's kind of gold, but it's not. It's kind of like, I don't know, that color. Yes, I go right there. I don't know why. I also highlight my eyebrows. I'm gonna show y'all that too. Oh yeah, this is way better lighting. Like 
um, I take this and this little brush just out of a regular schmegala dagala. <laughs> I go here with my little, you know. Sometimes I do this just to kind of think I'm doing something. <laughs> now I'm holding my phone at this point because it's better, like. So I don't want nobody talking no shit. Well, I took that away further than I was supposed to. But that's all right. In makeup, you can fix your mistakes. I'm just gonna take the other one up and act like I was supposed to be there, okay? Oh yeah, I also, I also um, highlight my non-existent as Cupid bow. And I go here with my shit, and I go here with my shit. Okay. Now, now this time y'all can see me not highlighting shit. Mm -hmm. What else? To be honest, I really think that that's it. But hold on. <laughs> Damn. So this for me would be like my everyday look. Kind of. I kind of went bold with my colors because I wanted y'all to see something. You know, be able to see the color. I got these bay locks in that I can't wait to take out. I'm sorry, but I like them. Oh wait, hold on, what I forgot? I am not done. Why I'm playing? Hold on. Okay. <laughs> now, for real, for real, I'm done. Excuse my hair. Look. This just is what it is, honey. Kind of. But I'm done. I feel cute or whatever. I don't have any blush. Normally I do wear blush. Can't target. <laughs> I guarantee you one of those kids has my blush on. But I have forgot my wing liner and my little mascara. Ooh. Nine times out of ten, I do not wear lashes. I just don't have the extra time for it, to be honest. Um, a lot of people say, well, you could just wear, um, strips. I'm not trying. I don't even have time for strips. If I could just do this, and as you can see, it took me 28 minutes, and really, I'm done. But, if I could just get this done, if I could just do this, I would be glad. <laughs> Because to be honest, most days I can't even achieve this. Most days, and I'm gonna show y'all my, my real go-to. Now this is kind of a go-to if I'm trying to be jazzy, okay? But my actual go-to is like fucking eyebrows, which don't be as thick, let me mind you. This is like my full face go-to. But, honey, my regular go-to is like eyebrows, eyeliner, and lip gloss or chapstick nothing else no nothing 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 so yeah like i said this is my first video i'm not gonna keep y'all because i know how y'all be with them long videos because i'm used to watching myself i hate to see a person rambling but i just wanted to come and give y'all an introduction tell y'all who i am what i'm about what the channel's gonna be about like i said it's gonna be me my children me doing my little lazy makeup look Hopefully, I'll have a better setup the next time. I'm trying to hold the damn camera and sitting it up on some bad lighting. It's just whatever. We all start somewhere, right? So, welcome to my channel. Um, I hope if you're here, you're here to stay. Grow with me. Look at that. My nose running. And you know what else? I don't know if I'm allergic to one of these products, but I don't know. Because while I'm doing my makeup and my eyes be watering and my nose be watering, look, I don't know. But 
anyway, I'm out. I'll holler at y'all later.